Welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss on pre-lab experiment 4 rotational motion of a rigid body. So the learning outcome is at the end of this lesson, student will able to explain the experiment to determine the moment of inertia of the flying wheel from experiment. So uh, introduction. So what is the meaning of a rigid body? A rigid body is a body which does not change its size and also shape when the force is exacted on it. Next, what is the meaning of moment inertia? Moment inertia we can define as the sum of the product of the mass and square of its perpendicular distance from the exits of rotation. Actually, moment inertia we can write as I moment inertia is equals to m r squared. Okay. Next question number three. Okay, what is the symbols and what is the SI unit for moment inertia? So moment inertia, as I mentioned just now, symbol is I and the unit because I equals to m r square. Therefore, unit is equal to kg meter square. Moment inertia, it depends on m r square, right? So it depends on the mass and also the radius. Next, complete the table 4 with the correct analog between linear and also rotational motion. So if let's say linear, we use m. In rotational motion, we will use moment inertia i. Linear motion, linear accelerations, we use A. For rotational, we will use angular accelerations, alpha. Net force, we use F. In uh, rotational, we will use torque. Okay, so this is the symbol. Okay, so you can write I is moment inertia, alpha is angular accelerations. Torque, okay, you can write it as in this symbol. Okay, next one, number six. A motor capable of producing a constant torque. So here, this is the torque where it's equal to 100 newton meter. It's connected to the flying wheel which rotates with an angular acceleration. So they give you the angular acceleration. Calculate the moment inertia. So moment inertia I, we can write it as mr square or we can write it as torque over alpha because we know that torque equals to I alpha. So therefore, our moment inertia is equal to top over alpha. Where top is equal to 100, alpha is 1000. So therefore, we will get 0 0.1 kilogram meter squared. Next, we go to experiment. Question number 7. So in this experiment, we need to sketch a free body diagram for the flying wheel and falling slotted mass. So we have, uh, we need to draw a two diagram. The first one is a, a flying wheel. Okay, where flying wheel, this is the a flying wheel a circle and the radius. Okay, and this flying wheel is actually attached with a string. So we draw attention and it will rotate okay, in a uh, angular acceleration. For free body diagram for falling slotted mass, uh, for slotted mass, if this is a slotted mass, so slotted mass actually attached with a string, so there is a tension, and at the same time, it also experiences a gravitational force, uh, mg, and it will move linearly downward. Okay, so this is 
linear acceleration eh? it will accelerate downward okay so this is a free body diagram for flywheel and also slotted mass okay next one is by referring to the free body diagram 7a and b deduce the equations using newton's second law so there are two types of uh, newton's second law the first one for flying okay for flywheel for flywheel we will use newton's second law for rotational motion where the net torque equals to i alpha where net torque here is equal to tension times the radius tension times radius minus torque for friction okay because when you rotate there's a frictional force and it is equal to i alpha so this is the first equation okay next for slotted mass okay for slotted mass based on the free body diagram Newton's second law of uh, linear motion, our F net is equal to MA, where F net here is MG minus tension because MG is same direction with the motion. So we take MG minus tension equal to MA. Okay, so this is the first equation. This is the second equation. Next, for this experiment, identify the manipulate variable. Okay, so after we obtain equation 1 and equation 2, okay, so actually they ask us to plot the graph. Huh? They ask us to plot the graph uh, alpha versus t. Okay, so we must know first uh, alpha versus t. Okay, so this is the graph that we need to plot. Okay, how can we get this equation? Actually, it's from equation 1. Where equation 1, we can uh, write uh, alpha is equal to tr over i okay because initially it's i alpha so we divide by i minus top for friction over i okay so now we can uh, plot the graph uh, where alpha is y exit and uh, tension is x exit so y equals to mx plus c meaning that gradient is r over i and negative top over i is our y intercept Okay, so for this experiment, identify the manipulated variable. So manipulated meaning that we will control it. Huh? We will control it where we will control the slotted mass. Okay, so we will control the slotted mass. Okay, so we will control the mass. Huh? And then the responding is we will take the time taken. Okay, time taken for the slotted mass to reach the ground. Okay, number 10, complete the observation table with the suitable equation. Acceleration, we can use equation A equals to 2H over T square, where initially, okay, before the slotted mass falling down or before it release, U is equal to 0 and uh, S is equal to negative H because when it falls down okay, to the ground, S is negative H and also acceleration also is negative A because it's accelerate downward and we have time so we have T U S A meaning that we can use S equals to U T plus half A T square then we substitute inside negative H equals to 0 plus 1 over 2 negative A T square okay so negative H equals to negative half A T square Negative, negative, we can cancel. So finally, acceleration is equal to 2H over T squared. Okay, so this is the way you get the acceleration. Okay, angular acceleration alpha equation is given A over the radius. Tension from just now equations 2, we know that uh, mg minus T equals to ma. So therefore, tension will equal to mg minus A. Okay. Next one, data analysis. Write the equations for the graph of alpha against t. Okay, so from just now, uh, okay, we already derived because we want to plot alpha versus t. So therefore, from equations one, okay, we can derive an equations where our alpha is equal to r over i t minus top over moment inertia. 
Okay, based on the linear graph equation y equals to mx plus c, fill in the suitable quantities. Okay, so if you compare with y equals to mx plus c, okay, meaning that y exit is alpha, x exit is tension, so therefore gradient here m is equal to the radius over moment inertia. And last, y-intercept is C. Yeah? So, y-intercept is negative torque over moment inertia. Okay, so next we will go to question number 13. How do we determine the value of uh, inertia of the flywheel wheel from this graph? Okay, so from the graph, okay, we plot graph. Okay, we plot graph uh, alpha versus T. Where we know that the gradient here, okay, the gradient M is equal to R over I. So, I, moment inertia, will equal to radius over gradient. Then, you will get the value. Okay, so the precaution step, this one, you can uh, fill in the blanks by yourself. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you, class. Bye.